Hey guys, it's Houston Curtis here for Card Sharp, and today we're going to be doing a review of a new playing card called Triumph from Gaming Partners International. Cardsharp.com. Hey, before we dive in, I want to uh, remind you guys I have a new book coming out called Billion Dollar Hollywood Heist. And uh, it is a true story. It's based on my life. Uh, and times playing as a high stakes card player in Los Angeles with uh, a lot of celebrities like Tobey Maguire and Ben Affleck and Leonardo DiCaprio. It was a very interesting time in my life. You guys all know by now that I'm a card mechanic so I kind of tell a lot of these stories for the first time in this book and it was the the real story that Molly's Game film from Aaron Sorkin was based on. In the movie they had a character named Harlan Hustis which is really Houston Curtis. In order to get the story straight, uh, my book will be coming out soon. I hope you guys check it out. All right, let's get into the review. So GPI produces some of the best playing cards in the world. A lot of people don't know that. Uh, they are the makers of the famous uh, Jamaica Jimbacks, uh, as well as uh, the uh, Paulson brand playing cards. They also do uh, a lot of the professional poker room plastic playing cards from Paulson and from Jamaica. Um, this is their Alpha series. Uh, and they're, they're made in the United States, uh, in Missouri. Uh, they do have factories overseas as well. Uh, matter of fact, their, their overseas uh, versions of the Jimbacks feel a lot like the Legends or uh, expert playing card company cards uh, that you may have checked out. Um, I'm a huge, huge fan of the Jamaica Jimbacks and, and, and the Paulsons. Uh, so that's why I was really excited to check out Triumph, which is a new consumer-based card because these guys mainly do cards strictly for casinos. So I'm hoping that these new cards will be the real deal. Let's get into it. This is the Triumph Premium Playing Cards, made in the USA. Um, these cards are produced by GPI, Gaming Partners International, the same company that uh, uh, brings us the world famous Jamaica Jimbacks, uh, as well as the Paulson brand of playing cards that are used in casinos all over the world. This is supposed to be something that competes with uh, a standard set of bikes and it comes in a case of 12 with 6 red, 6 blue. So let's check them out. Alright. This public is hereby notified that the exclusive rights are claimed to the various names Uh, cool looking Joker. Now this Joker is, I believe, reminiscent of the Paulson Joker. I'll double check that. It's either the Paulson or the Jim Bag. There's GPI's Custom Triumph Ace of Spades. It's a linen finish. I can tell you already they, they feel great. Uh, these are definitely the Paulson faces. Okay. So these are the faces that you see on Paulson playing cards. I'll try and flash you uh, some of those. Get a uh, color joker and a black and white joker. So they're supposed to have, I think, the, the snap of the uh, gym backs. They fan great. All right, let's see some shuffling in action here. Let's 
check out in the hands riffle shuffle. That feels great actually. Traditionally cut. Call some aces and do some dealing here. One thing I like about them is that the colors are vibrant, which is, uh, is always the case with uh, the cards I've seen from GPI. The whites are really white and really pop, you know? So my overall impression with the try and playing cards is A for effort, um, they're almost there. You know, the Jamaica Jimbacks are probably maybe my favorite playing card of all time. Um, and not a lot of people know about them. So if I was ever going to do a custom deck, which I might do in the future, um, GPI would definitely be uh, one of the top companies that I would talk to. Uh, I think if there's anybody who could potentially compete with the United States playing card company in this market, in the luxury playing card market, it would be these guys if they decided that they wanted to do it. I think the Triumph cards need a little bit of work. The stock isn't quite as uh, up to snuff as their Jamaica uh, gym backs. Then again, you know, the bicycle stock isn't quite as good as the B stock, you know, from what, what a lot of people think. Um, one thing you have to remember with uh, these different brands of playing cards, everyone is so used to using United States Playing Card Company, which I love, uh, but you got to remember that uh, a different manufacturing process, a different card stock requires a slightly different muscle memory and you know, you have to get used to the different feel of a different brand of cards. So you kind of have to give yourself the opportunity to let that happen. And what you might find if you do is that you really uh, dig it. And I love to practice with all kinds of cards because you never know when you're going to be at a game or when you're going to be in front of someone who's going to say, hey, here's a deck of cards, show me something. And I've always felt that it is good to uh, practice with as many types of decks as possible. So with that said, I would definitely get a brick of these and I look forward to seeing what you guys think. Uh, and I hope that these guys keep uh, shooting for the moon and improving this and uh, we'll see where they, uh, what they come up with next for the consumer market anyway. All right. Hey, thanks for watching this review. My name's Houston Curtis. Stay sharp. Stay card sharp. Card sharp.